Hey guys, it's me, Jake's Cake. Welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is going to be a little different. Today, I'm going to talk about who I am, what I do, like what my hobbies are, what music I listen to, stuff like that. What religion I am, where I was born, like birthdays and stuff. Because, I mean, who reads channel descriptions? If you do, comment down below, because I do. Because uh, I'm interested. But first, without further ado, please leave a like and subscribe. And follow my Instagram account. It's uh, it's in the description. I have the link. And uh, let's start the video. So my name is Jake. Duh. But my name is Jacob Allen Horde. Yes, my middle name is Allen. After my dad. And his dad. And his dad's dad. And his dad's dad. Which means they're counting on me to carry on that middle name generation to my oldest son. When I do have a son, which I don't really, really know when that is. But, yeah. Um, so, yeah, my name is Jacob Allen Horde. I was born in Las Vegas, Nevada in February 19th, 2004 at 9.41 in the mor in the at night. Yeah, at night. I memorized the time because my mom said, well, uh, I, it took me a while to memorize the actual time, but I can remember the, uh, a.m. p.m. because my mom said uh, I was the only child she had that was born in the nighttime, and now I have five other siblings, six other siblings because of my new baby brother. Um, but th three of them are not biological. So you have Zach, who's featured in most of my, who's the most featured sibling in my videos. Zach is twelve, and he is not my actual brother. He's my stepbrother. My stepdad, I live with my stepdad and my real mom, and my real dad lives in Las Vegas where I was born, so, and I see him every once in a while, I can't right now because of the coronavirus, but, you know, um, but he is my stepbrother, and then we have Felicity, who's my stepsister, she's 15, uh, and her real mom, yeah, and their real mom lives in Las Vegas, I forgot to mention, uh, and her, and then... My uh, other sister, Alex, is 14, and she, she, yeah, was born in Las Vegas. We all are actually born in Las Vegas. And then you have Joey, who I know doesn't look like me at all, or even my mom, or my dad, but my real dad, which you guys haven't seen. But he is my biological brother, and then we have Lizzie, which, of course, is my biological sister. Joey's 15, Lizzie's 12. No, Lizzie's 11, she's going to turn 12 on May 15th, which is actually my third year on YouTube anniversary, which I'll make a video on that too, so yeah, stay tuned. Um, so yeah, about me, because we just went through my siblings. Oh wait, Benjamin uh, is my baby brother. He is about to be seven months old, I think, yeah. It's going to be seven months old. He was born October 16th, 2019. Um, and yeah, he's adorable. And he's my half brother. Because, you know, my my real mom and my stepdad had one together. Yeah. Not to get all awkward, but I, it's true. Okay, now about me. Um, so first, let's start out with hobbies. Of course, my number one hobby is playing video games. Um... But I have other hobbies too. I don't just play video games. Um, I do other fun things. Actually, I spend most of my day outside until game time, that is. Which, yes, we have a scheduled game time, so <laughs> that's nice. Um, scheduled game time is 7 p.m. Uh, but on Fridays, it's 5 p.m. and same with Saturdays, which is why today I'm going to make a video and then upload it tomorrow. Because I have to edit it and that takes a long time. Everyone should notice. But my other hobbies are running. Uh, which, yeah, I do that a lot. I'm very fast. Well, I mean, I, there are people that are faster than me. But I am very fast. Uh, I also like um, drawing. I'm very good at that. I'm going to show you some of my drawings on this wall. Um, this is my favorite one. Um, I'm decent at drawing, but yeah, I don't only draw Spider-Man, that's just all I have on my wall right now, because I'm lazy and haven't put any of my newer drawings on the wall, so, yeah. Um, another thing about me, oh wait, another hobby, is I like to do gymnastics, I can do 
backflip, front flip. I can do seven backflips in a row with until I get dizzy and almost fall. I can do three front flips in a row. Front flips, by the way, are way harder. I know people say they aren't, but they are. <laughs> the people that say backflips are harder are wrong because they just don't know how to do a backflip. But, I mean, backflips, it takes hardly any effort. You just got to be brave and you can do it. It took me forever to learn how, but I eventually did it. Um, so, yeah, I like all do doing all that stuff. Now, on to music. Music. Now, you'd be very surprised at the music I listen to. Now, I know from my YouTube videos, there's a bunch of rock slash metal songs in the background. That's not what I listen to. I do not listen to instrumental, royalty-free metal music. Like, who does that? Unless you're, like, one of those guys that just want to hear the music, which there aren't really any good metal songs on that anyway. But I do listen, in fact, I do listen to rock and metal. Mainly a mix between metal and rock. It's just, I guess, heavy rock. I don't know. Because mom and dad, if you're watching, which I'm pretty sure mom, you already know. I don't know if dad knows. I do listen to Korn. Um, I don't listen to all their songs because, of course, they have very dark songs. And I have a problem with some of their songs. But I listen to a lot of their songs. Uh, I do listen to clean versions, though, if that makes it any better. Because <laughs> they kind of swear a lot sometimes. But they're not the only band I listen to. I listen to Linkin Park. I listen to Breaking Benjamin. Um, I listen to... Oh, Nirvana, of course. Um, yeah, so I listen to all those people. Shout out to all of you. Even though you won't see this video. But if you do, then cool. And yes, my hair is dyed red. I was going to make a video on it, and then I just didn't end up uploading it. But now I have an uploading schedule. Which means, I, and I have the video of me dyeing my hair, so I might as well just try my best to upload it, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, so yeah, I listened to that. Surprising. Maybe it wasn't. But to most of my friends it was. Actually, I don't even know if my friends know what I listen to. Uh, my friend Keen knows I listen to rock, I think, but um, I don't think he knows I listen to, like, corn, you know what I'm saying? Another hobby I have I forgot to mention is I write music. I don't actually know how to play any instruments. I play the piano, but it's not like I'm super good at it. I just know how to play a couple songs that took me a long time to practice, and I probably already forgot them because I haven't touched my piano in, like, months. But I have songs written, and I just need music for them. So if anyone wants to input songs, I'll probably show some of my lyrics to some of my songs, and you can input music. I mean, if you want to. I'm not making anyone. I don't really care. But if you do, it'd be cool. Okay, now moving on to the juicy stuff. <laughs> yes, I have dated. Three times? Yeah. All of them went really, really bad. I'm not going to mention their names for their sake, but I'll say, the th like, they were all look completely different. Just gonna say. <laughs> One was a ginger. One was a brunette with green eyes, and one was a blonde with, like, the craziest blue eyes I've ever seen. Except she had her hair dyed black all the time, so... Uh, but yeah, I dated them last year. Yeah, all of them in one year, except the ginger was 2018 when I looked weird. Um, but yeah, I dated, and by they all went terribly is that one cheated on me. Actually, two of them cheated on me, and the other one... I had to dump because I wasn't supposed to be dating yet. So yeah. Um, next, we're going to talk about religion. Yes, I have a religion. I... Wait for it. I've actually probably already told everyone on this channel. I don't really care. I'm going to say it again. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Which probably doesn't surprise any of you because I don't really swear on my channel. So I do say like crap and stupid and crap. <laughs> but I don't actually like swear, you know what I'm saying. Yet I don't even say God's name in vain either, so that might be also be another hint. I haven't always been a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter day Saints, though. <laughs> Long name. We used to call ourselves Mormons, but then we were like, you know, we probably need to stop that because pioneers in the past tried killing us and called us Mormons when they did it because they thought we worshiped Mormon. So we change what we actually worship, the Church of 
Well, we worship Jesus and God, not the church, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but before I was a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, well, when I was born through till I was about seven years old, technically I'm not a convert because you get baptized at eight, but I still remember being a Christian. Yes, I was Christian, a non-denominational Christian until I was about seven. And when I was first introduced to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, it was kind of weird for me because in the church, in the Christian churches, you say amen after someone says something, right? You go, amen. Like, I'm with you, brother. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, like, when people would pray, you'd be, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm, yeah, I, I agree, yep. But in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, they're a little more reverent, so you don't just yell amen if someone says something, like, you can agree upon. I found this out the hard way. And so did my mom. We, the first day of our Mormon... Oh, man. Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Uh, we didn't know what to wear, so uh, we wore our normal clothes, because that's what we wore at our other church. Which, uh, we got a lot of eyes at us. I don't care. I, we still went to church, okay? But, uh, yeah, and then, like, my, I, my mom started clapping after someone said something. And then she looked, and then when everyone looked back, and in surprisement, is that even a word? Um... She acted like I was the one that did it, like, sh like anyone would. So, yeah, that went well, except I was, like, seven, so I didn't really, like, understand that she was blaming it on me. She just randomly went, <laughs> okay. okay, Mom. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, my phone keeps sliding, I'm sorry. Get a different angle for you guys, I guess, because this angle is better. Um, so, yeah, that's my religion. And I am a sophomore in high school. That's my grade. I'm in 10th grade. Uh, finishing up the year, I'm going to be a junior next year, which, yeah, shocking. And my parents say I'm growing up so fast. My mom's like, you were born just yesterday. I was like, no, I was born 16 years ago, but, you know, close enough. Now to some more juicy information. Kindergarten through about fifth grade, I was bullied severely. Um... So I got bullied really bad, like, as in, like, people beat me up, which ultimately led me to the point where I beat other people up. Yeah. Um, when I got in fights, they got really brutal, even though I was a little kid, and they were little kids too. Well, ki the kindergarten fights, of course, weren't, like, beating each other up. They are more like calling each other names, which offended me as a kindergartner. But when the real fights started happening was in fifth grade. I was 11. I mean, old enough to fight. They were 11. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so here's how it went. Uh, yeah, fifth grade was actually the worst year for bullying because there's these new kids at our school named Lucas and Caleb. I already have another friend named Caleb, but Lucas's friend was also named Caleb. So um, They were the same grade as me, but they were held back, so they were both 12. And they were automatically popular because Lucas was a boxer or something. So he was like really buff. And then you have Caleb, who was just cool because he was good at football. Now, they treated me like crap. And now at school, okay, I wouldn't say at school, like, I mean, okay, I have decent popularity, not at school because I don't talk to anyone. I have a couple friends, but I don't talk to anyone. Mainly because my school is small and there's a bunch of weird kids in it. No offense to all of you watching. Uh, also, there's only a select few weird kids, and I bet you the k kids that aren't watching, that are watching, aren't weird. Well, they're weird in a good way. But, now I maintain popularity. Like, I have lots of friends, but back then, I had one friend. Well, not two. But the other one, like, was only there for me when I actually needed him. So the first one, his name is Isaac Wilcoxon. Um, kind of wish he moved when I moved. I lived in Utah, uh, I lived in Idaho, I forgot to mention that, so places I've lived, I was born in Nevada, moved, lived in Nevada for about four or five years, which was the first years of my life, then I moved to Idaho for around six years, yeah, so I was five when I moved to Idaho, and then I lived there till I was 11, then we moved to Utah, and I've been living in Utah for around five years, so I've been... But they've been in different locations, so I've moved about 12 times, which is a lot of time. 
and uh, mainly because we got kicked out of our own home. Yeah, I've had a rough life. No, I'm just kidding. I haven't, because I know there's kids who watch this. I probably have a rougher life than me. But I mean, I had a decently trial, a decently trial. I had a decent trial of a life back in 2018 when I got kicked out of my own house, and then we had to live in the wilderness for three months, which was fun, but like really hard. Because, like, we had to, like, somehow make money because my mom, like, did have a job. It wasn't paying very well because she couldn't be there all the time. And then we were, I was just barely getting into my teenage years. I was 14. And we were living on a mountain property. Actually, I think I have one video I made on the mountain. It was an update video. And I'm like, name change equals game change. I'm going to play Minecraft. Didn't play Minecraft. Because <laughs> I couldn't. Um, but... Yeah, it's been rough, but anyway, back to the bullying thing. So, when I was in fifth grade, I lived in Idaho, Coeur d'Alene. Beautiful, beautiful place. Like, I wish I still lived there sometimes. But then I wouldn't have all the friends I have here. But, so, yeah, I got bullied severely, and I can even tell you, I'll tell you one of the fights. Pretty gruesome. But I'm not going to explain every detail. Okay, I end up doing that anyway, because I have a symptom called ADHD. But, so, here's here's how it went. One day, I was in the bathroom after I called Lucas a name because he was being a jerk. I was like, Lucas, you're such a jerk. And then he chased me, and I made the idiot move by cornering myself in the bathroom. Now, I didn't think he followed me. I thought he was just kind of, like, going to stomp at me and then knew I was going to run away. So he stopped chasing me, right? That's, like, what most kids do. But no, he followed me into the bathroom. I get done using the bathroom, and then I head out. And there he is, standing there, staring at me menacingly. It was really awkward and creepy. But that was not the end of the story. He proceeded, lots of swearing, by grabbing my hair, shoving my head in a toilet, and flushing it over and over again. I thought I was going to drown, but I didn't, because my friend Caleb came in, Oh, and not to mention, uh, Lucas was bashing my head into the toilet. I don't have any scars, because my head didn't split open. He was, like, halfway through bashing my head, like, a second time, which really hurt. I was crying. Of course I was crying. He was laughing, though, and that's sad. But, uh, Lucas comes in. I mean, Caleb, as in my friend Caleb, not the... The enemy Caleb was just standing there watching, because that's what all bully friends do. But, so my friend Lucas comes in. He's super good at football, soccer, every sport. He even broke his arm once doing it. But he comes in and starts beating the crap out of Lucas. Who, So he yanks Lucas away from me and ends up like having me sliding on my wet butt all the way across the bathroom. Okay, that's an exaggeration. I was at the sinks. like So the stall was in front of the sinks. Caleb yanked Lucas and it sent me sliding over to the sinks. Because Lucas had me by the hair. So it made him go like, Wah! And then yank me all the way over to this. But Lucas proceeds, I mean, Caleb proceeds to beat the crap out of Lucas, uh, which it was actually, it's like, I don't know, it just seemed way overly bloody. I don't know how hard they were punching each other, but it must have been pretty hard because, like, there was blood everywhere by the time the fight was done. Like, Caleb was bleeding, like, right here. He got punched or bashed into something, while Caleb, the, the enemy Caleb, decided to run out of the bathroom like a coward and left Lucas to fight friend Caleb alone. And friend Caleb beat the crap out of him because he was stronger than Lucas, except Lucas still did a good amount of damage. Lucas actually got knocked out and was bleeding on the floor, which I thought he was going to die. And then I turn around. I'm bleeding from my nose. I have my lip cut open from getting bashed. And I'm soaking wet. And I'm crying, so I'm... Well, actually, no, I wasn't even crying yet because of the adrenaline. I was crying while he was trying to drown me, but I kind of got snapped out of it when I got thrown halfway across the bathroom and they started beating each other up. I was like, oh, what's going on? So, I ran, just casually walked out of the bathroom while I hear them beating each other up. Well, and I'm like, Caleb, you don't need to keep beating up Lucas's dead body. Like, come on. But he proceeds to punch Lucas, which Lucas looked like he was knocked out, but I don't know. Um... So I casually walk to the principal's office, kids walking by down the hall, staring at me like a, like I'm a complete 
mad lad because I'm covered in blood and water and stuff. So then I get into the principal's office and I'm like, hey, ma'am. Uh, and she, before I can even finish my sentence, she's like, oh my gosh, what happened? I'm like, I'm just about to tell you, would you just zip it, please? Um, and I was like, yeah, my fight, bathroom, death. Yeah, yeah. And then she's like, oh, let me go in there and stop the fight. And then by the time I got in there, Lucas knocked out on the floor, bleeding. Caleb bleeding, but still standing. Me starts crying because adrenaline goes away. And then we were all about to get in trouble when they looked at the surveillance footage. Okay, by the way, there wasn't surveillance footage in the stall. They were outside the stalls. And uh, because there was surveillance footage, because it was a big school, they didn't have urinals because then you'd see boys peeing in a ur ur urinal. That'd be just um, but they saw Lucas yank me by the hair, but they didn't see me getting uh swirlied, but they did hear it. And then all of a sudden, Caleb comes and starts beating the crap out of him. Blah 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 blah. And then Caleb, I mean Lucas, got expelled from the school, and enemy Caleb got suspended. And then, uh, I was fine and. Uh, my friend Caleb got a, uh, detention for that day for being so violent, but I mean, he said it was worth it, which made me feel good inside because he got cared for me. But anyway, yeah, uh, school years were rough, but that's about all I have for today's video. And I told you about me and who I am and what I've done, kind of what I've done, but yeah. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe, like I already said in the beginning. Comment down below if you want me to do more videos like this, and make sure to follow my Instagram account. See you guys in the next one.